residents of Upper Wharf Trace in Maraca St. Joseph can now breathe a sigh of relief as they will now have a steady supply of water. This as the Water and Sewage Authority commissioned the booster station at Upper Wharf Trace today. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. President of the community, Elizabeth Armstrong, said she was elated that the Water and Sewage Authority was able to provide them with a better supply of the precious commodity as they've been longing for a steady supply. I say before I reach all and I walk in mistake, I had to get water in my pipe because I ain't able to be touching water. You understand? God answers pray. So the workers and them working every day are coming down. I say, all again, you? They say, no. I say, oh Lord, we ain't getting this for Christmas. With her prayers, the water supply came just in time for Christmas. Tunapuna MP Esmond Ford said since he became their representative, their main cry has been for a water supply. He was moved to tears as he was able to play a small role in fulfilling their wish as he remembered how he felt whenever a resident would ask for water. The men like Mousy, he can't come down the hill. I have to get emotional to, to go by the man. Ask them for your vote. Ask the people for your vote. And all you want is some water. You can't come out. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez said a lack of strong leadership in the authority delayed projects such as the Wharf Trace Booster Station. That it cost just $200,000 MP. $200,000 to bring water to, to almost 1,000 citizens in Upper Wharf Trees in Maraca, St. Joseph. $200,000. Now, why did it take 17 years? Why did it take 17 years? But do you know that it cost you, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, almost six to $700 million to pay for desalination water? The project was conceived as part of the Adopt a River initiative with local government partnership that required the authority to construct a booster. It was completed on December 1st and is currently in operation. The initial cost of the project was $227,116, but it was completed at just over $366,000. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.